In this video, I'm going to show you how to track visitors on your WordPress website. Stay tuned. Tracking visitors on your website is very, very important because you need to have an idea where your traffic is coming from. So you may not have any idea if your most of your traffic is coming either from YouTube, Facebook or your mailing list. So having a tracking system in place gives you an idea of what is going on. Now, there are several um, plugins out there that do this job. There's um, Google Analytics. There's also a WordPress plugin uh, called Jetpack, which also shows you analytics. I've used these two, but the one I prefer is called Clicky. Now, it goes way in depth and it also presents the information in a much easier to understand way. So this is what I'm going to be showing you in today's video. So let's he head over to my website and let me show you how this plugin works. So over here in my dashboard, we can see that uh, it shows me uh, the information here. So I can click on today, yesterday, last seven days, for example, and then it can show it shows me all the traffic from from um, from the last seven days and what's been going on. It also tells me the action, but this is just a snapshot. Okay, it also goes into much, much depth. So before I go into um, how this plugin actually works, let me just show you the website where you can get it from. The site is called uh, clicky.com. So this plugin is uh, free for a single website, but if you want to add multiple websites, you can also or, or sign up for the $9.99 uh, per month uh, plan. Here we have two websites. I've got my WP User TV and Div University, but we'll come back to this later. Okay, so back over here. So um, what you need to do is to install the plugin. So the plugin uh, is quite straightforward. You just come over here to plugins, click on add new and search and search for clicky and then install and activate it. And then what you need to do when you come to your actual um, account, you need to copy the site ID and the site key and that will start tracking everything. OK, so now let's go in depth and let me show you how this works. So once you install the plugin, you come over here to clicky analytics, click on that. Now, this gives you a separate page, which uh, gives you a bit more information about uh, what's going on on your website. So what you can do straight away here is uh, you can expand here where it says visitors, and then it shows you your unique visitors and your new visitors and also returning visitors. So this information is quite important as well. Uh, what you can also do is uh, over here on the links, it tells you where this traffic is coming from. So over here, I can see that uh, information here has been coming from my YouTube account and also divicake.com uh, and one from uh, Elegant Themes. Now, this is just from uh, traffic from yesterday. OK, so if you want to see like full stats, what you need to do now uh, from your WordPress dashboard is to click this link, which says view full stats on clicky.com. So if I click on that, it now breaks down this in a much more advanced way. So over here, I can go to uh, visitors and then it breaks down the country so I can actually see which countries uh, these visitors are coming from. I can come over here to content and this will tell me which links are actually being clicked on my website. So uh, this is from um, yesterday. So I can actually click this drop down here and click on, let's say, last 20 or last 14 days. So you can uh, you can take a look at stats from uh, different different periods of time. So over here, I can see that my landing page is the one which is more popular, which is 365 views. And that's in the last 14 days. Start learning has uh, 315. And what you can also do is to um, view the external page from here. OK, and then over here, I can see um, DV Visual Builder update that has gone 286 and so on. So this gives you an idea of what sort of uh, links people are clicking when they come to your website. Now, let's go in and let's take a look at uh, more information that we can um, extract from this. So if I click here on searches, it also uh, gives me an idea of the searches here. And then I can come here into the keywords. Now here, this information that is being shown is coming from ConvertKit. So this tells me that um, this information here was when I sent my um, email from my mailing list. OK. Uh, you can go to links. Now over here again, you can see which links are bringing all your uh, uh, traffic to your website. So as we can see, YouTube is uh, YouTube and Facebook are the main ones. And then we've got mail.google.com uh, and so on. 
Now, if I come over here to domains, it also gives me a list of the domain names, right? So again, I can see here YouTube, Facebook, uh, DiviCake. Those are the, um, the, the domain names that are coming. Next, I can actually come over here to platforms. Right, so I can see here that Google Chrome is the most popular uh, browser with 597 in the last 14 days and so on. And uh, here, mobile, I can also tell that it's only 5.3%. Uh, you can also drill down to operating systems if you want to. So again, here I can see that 42% is coming from Windows and Mac is 24.2%. Uh, so back over here to, uh, to the dashboard. I mean, in fact, there's a lot of things that you can do here. You can actually compare the stats between um, uh, certain periods of time. So uh, let's say you want to uh, compare goals. You can do that, revenue, bounce rate, and so on, right? So here, same thing, previous period. So I can now compare and take a look at um, uh, the, the differences between the traffic um, in the same period. So we can see here that this line here has a massive improvement there. That's probably because I created a video which I um, pushed out there and it got a lot of traffic in the last 14 days. But the most important thing here is any information that you need, all you have to do is just to click a link and then it drills down into the information that is that you need to take a look at. Now over here, I can also see that most of my traffic is coming from the United States with 397 and also the United Kingdom. So this again gives me an idea of uh, who is looking at my, uh, tra at my um, uh, website and where they're coming from. And over here on the traffic sources, I can see here di uh, that direct traffic, 364, social media is um, 351. So this is what I was mentioning earlier on that when it comes to traffic, you need to understand that um, the traffic if the traffic is coming from, say, social media, maybe it's paid advertising, uh, it, it is bringing you traffic and it's going to specific pages. If it's direct traffic, you also need to know what sort of numbers you're dealing with because you might be spending so much time on social media, yet no one is clicking to come back to your website. So having a system like this in place is very, very important. Now, as I mentioned, this is my preference. There are also other, other tools out there that you can use for your analytics. But in my opinion, this one is is the best for me because it drills down into a lot of uh, into a lot more information without the need to go through a a large learning curve right so one other thing I need to show you here as well is if I come to one of my pages here and I'm on this uh, page on my site called start learning this is the page which has uh, all my courses and my upcoming courses so if I scroll down here you can see from the bottom here on the bottom page, it also shows you the stats. And when you mouse over here, it tells you how many people visited on that particular date. So this may be very uh, important as well when you come to your website, just to check how that particular page is performing. Okay, so uh, I'd like to hear your views on how you track your website traffic. Do you use Clicky? Do you use Google Analytics? And or do you use uh, the normal Jetpack plugin? So um, thank you very much for watching. Again, uh, I have a free course that I'm giving away. If you are brand new to WordPress, this course is for you because it goes through everything that you need to know about WordPress. So sign up for that course. The link will be in the show notes below. The course is called WordPress Mastery. So go ahead, sign up for that course. Or if you're an advanced user and you want to learn how to use Divi, I also have a course which has a 50% discount. Again, all that information is going to be in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.